at one point I was being introduced to give a speech and somebody introduced me as the father of biological diversity. You know, I said, you know, that's not biologically possible. <laughs> so it turned into Godfather. So biodiversity is a collective term to describe the variety of life on Earth. Uh, so it's, you know, it's all the different kinds of trees, all the different kinds of birds, all the kinds of soil organisms, and it's just a way to talk about the incredible variety of living things. Ecosystems and biological diversity are actually the underpinning uh, of human welfare. They contribute to everybody's well-being on a daily basis. You know, it starts for me with my Brazilian coffee in the morning. But it's also about clean water, clean air, the improvements of understanding of the life sciences, uh, which really goes on on a daily basis uh, and benefits us hugely. Biological diversity is actually the hardest of all the environmental problems to solve because every environmental problem affects living systems. So you read it in biodiversity. So if, if we don't protect the biodiversity, if we don't pay attention to climate change and to habitat destruction, we'll basically, you know, end up with a pretty degraded planet uh, and a pretty marginal existence for the people who survive. The, the challenges in working in the environment seem incredibly daunting, uh, but if you actually look over your shoulder once in a while and see how far things have progressed, uh, it's often much more than one realizes. So the Amazon had one national park and one indigenous reserve demarcated when I went in 1965. You know, and today, literally half of the Amazon, uh, an area as big as the 48 contiguous U.S. states, is now under some form of protection. And nobody would have dared dream that 